What's up y'all, Kyle here, and you're watching Driving and Vibing Reviews. Today we're gonna be talking about a super economical and very affordable 2000 watt inverter generator, so stick around. So today we're talking about the Dirty Hand Tools 2000 watt inverter generator. And what really got us interested in this product and kind of excited about it was that it produces a 2000 watts, it's super quiet, and it's only 450 bucks on Amazon. I believe I've also seen on their website that it's 499. Both those prices are more than 50% less than a Honda 2000 watt generator. So we really wanted to test this thing out, see how it holds up with our RV, and that way, if at 50% less of a price, it would be very good value. So before I get into the results of what we found out through our tests and how it's worked for us, let me talk a little bit about the specs of this unit. So it produces the 2000 watts of peak power, 1700 watts of continuous power. The power is clean, good for RVs, electronic devices, you know, the sensitive devices, it's putting out the clean power, so it works well for those. And the engine is 2.9 horsepower, 99 cc's. As far as the weight of the generator goes, it is 41 pounds, noticeably lighter, in my opinion, than other 2000 watt generators I've carried around. And the handle makes it very easy to carry. It produces 60 decibels. Now, this isn't from my measurement. This is from what the specs say on their website. So I haven't had a chance to measure the very accurate decibel level because I only have an app on my iPhone and supposedly those aren't very accurate at all. So I hope to be able to do some more serious testing, maybe head-to-head -head testing with other units with that. But 60 decibels is very quiet. I have to say, when I cranked it up, it sounded very quiet. And as far as the power of this thing goes, it will last seven hours with a 50% load. That's very in line with what we've noticed through running it. So if you look at the face of this unit, it has two 120 AC outlets that are grounded. It has a 12 volt outlet, and it also has a USB outlet. So that's a nice set of options right there on the front. So let me dive into kind of our experience with this now and we'll start right there with the face of the unit and the inputs that it has. Different than some 2000 watt generators, it does not have a 30 amp input. Now, this doesn't really matter to us because we carry an adapter with us, a three prong 120 AC adapter. So we easily hooked it up and it works just fine. But if you're looking for a unit with a 30 amp input on it, they do produce a bigger unit for that. Also, it was extremely easy to start. They have a prime button, unlike other 2000 watt generators as well. And that prime button made it very easy to start it up on the first crank. And I enjoyed that aspect of it. But one of my favorite parts of the generator is that both the sidewalls completely remove, giving easy access to the engine. There is a gas filter that is visible to the front, which is unlike other units as well. And that made it very uh, comforting to me that in the future, I could more easily diagnose an issue. And I like being able to see that much of the engine from either side. So that was uh, different and one thing that I really enjoyed about it. I really like the USB input option for something like a tailgate or a get together because in those situations, there aren't necessarily very many USB chargers around and it would just be very convenient to charge any of your smartphones or iPads, something like that. Also, the 12 volt input is nice, just gives you one more option of charging another device. Overall, the generator powers our RV like every other 2000 watt generator we've used. So that is great to know because the price is so much less expensive. Now it doesn't power our AC, but nor do the other generators that produce 2000 watts. So we didn't really expect it to do that. But like I said, the Dirty Hand Tools does make a larger unit that I'm sure would power our AC. If you're looking for an economical generator, we can definitely say we've used this one. It operates uh, efficiently, it operates quietly. So if you're on a budget and you wanna find an economical generator, the Dirty Hand Tools generator at 450 bucks, I think that's a great value. I'll put the link below to this model. I'll also link their 3000 watt model if you want more power to operate AC units and stuff like that. But overall, the product has been great. Stay tuned later on this week. We're gonna do a head-to-head -head comparison with our Honda generator where we measure the noise output of each generator and where we compare the specs of each generator. So you know head-to-head -head how they both function and the price difference. 
Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm Kyle, and like I said, you're watching Driving and Vibing. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Give us a comment below if you use the Dirty Hand Tools Generator, because we would like to know what your experience is if you've used it for an extended amount of time. We look forward to using it for months to come, and we'll report back to you at that point as well how it's handled the test of time. So thanks again, guys. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and we'll see y'all next time, later on.